House of Decadence events take place inside a gated mansion. All sex is anonymous. Guests are not to speak about the House of Decadence. Failure to adhere to these rules will, will result in expulsion. Hey everyone, I'm so excited. Thanks for coming to my birthday party. It's, I've heard, I did some Googling and I've heard that the food and tea is like really fancy schmancy. I don't work at this cafe, but um, some of my friends in the cat grooming industry um, are, are um, you know, working here. I actually work at the local library, but I work with the rare books and manuscripts. Uh, I actually, I own a pet shop that's pretty close by. It's just a couple blocks uh, that way. Uh, I work in supply chain. Uh, Raj, happy birthday. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Elizabeth. Uh, Raj and I have known each other since college, and I'm actually a massage therapist. I think this may be our first time actually hanging out outside of the salon, because I know we're always like catching in passing to meet up, and it's like, well, we can chat over nails, but it's not, it's not the same. So yeah, we have a nice selection, so you can take a look at the menu as well. Well, Raj, you know that I I love a tea that packs a punch. You know, I really like to um, to make sure that I'm that I'm really in control of my business. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the peach black tea. Uh, you know, I mean, I just love that it's very sweet, but it's got it's got those those layers to it, that mysterious note. You know, this is a little silly sounding, but I've always thought of myself as being a little psychic, like I can just tell things about people. I'm, I'm getting, I think, from your from your aura, Daniel, uh, that you might like lemon green tea because it has a little bit of everything. It's a little bit tart. I look for the medicinal quality, a tea that'll where it shouldn't be overprepared, and a lemon green tea uh, is a bit too sophisticated uh, for my palate. The lapsing souchong sounds really. Um different i was actually looking at the valentine's blends a little oh. bit also also kind of a chocolate fan and it's yeah. just i like teas that are blended you know by again of course folks who know what they're doing you know i actually have ended up going with the chamomile because you know sometimes i, I just i like a tea that's kind of restrained in its flavor I would really like one of those um, chicken with cranberry sandwiches. I really like a sandwich that's overstuffed and I don't want a sandwich that's just kind of hanging out on the, on the bread. What I found when things are under seasoned is that sometimes if you just kind of leave it there for a while and, and you, you go, you walk away, it's, the seasoning is stronger. It's, it's a better sandwich. I love a good, strong blue cheese. Last night, I had a blue cheese, and it was, like, screaming. Like, the flavor was so loud and so intense. It was, like, the loudest flavor I had ever had in my life. I really enjoy the blue cheese flavor as well. It sort of forces you to pay attention to it. You can't ignore that blue cheese flavor. I like things that really pack a punch and not even just that intense flavor, but it just, you know, it just leaves a mark, like a lasting impression. Fresh creamery butter. Is there anything Wait, more really? comforting? Just kind of there. The cloud of bread. The butter. Kind of poetic. I'm going to keep uh, the, the dill sandwich just sitting there for a little bit. I think it's almost ready to be eaten. Uh, so you can pair any scone with any preserve. Um, so uh, what uh, what catches people's fancy? You know, I, I used to think I was really interested in in this in like grape um, grape jelly scones. The thing is, like they, they're kind of artificial. The grape flavor, right? It's not real grape. One of my pet peeves in life is, you know, like when you're at a meal with people and it's so delicious that someone just like puts, they put a lot of food in their mouth and they suddenly can't talk. Awkward if you're the only one talking. And so if with a burned scone, you, you probably wouldn't be as likely to just in inhale it. My throat swells shut when I eat cookies, pastries, 
scones, snickerdoodles. That's terrible. It's awful. Simpler, um, comforting. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a good quality uh, scone. It's it's really tasty. Um, it's pillowy and soft. Like if I could just watch a scone bake. The scone is in there and I'm just watching it. I'm watching the dough rise and grow and I'm watching that dough grow. And then all of a sudden there's, there's this moment where the butterscotch chips just melt. Dessert is often the best part of the meal. I've heard the desserts here are really, really good. I ordered like a lot. I've never had a burnt dessert before. And it's not for the faint of heart. You know, I, I, I think that some people are um, hesitant. I have my eye on the uh, that mini layered chocolate cake. And there's a, an exactness and a precision to each level in every layer. I also had my eye on that chocolate cake with the gold leaf. You know, something shiny that's just, you know, it's kind of nice that it's edible because that shininess just, you know, becomes a part of you. I just don't really like that, like that crack, right? When you bite in and the way it sort of smooshes into the strawberry. Um, and that's just not, so I think what I'm actually going to go with is this, this sort of fragile ginger snap. Have you ever had like a dinner party at your house or your apartment? Many times. And people are there and sometimes you have to, you, you finish, you do the finishing touches while you have guests there. So you're worried that they, they're getting bored while you're, you're putting all these little fine details on your strawberries or whatever else you're you're decorating, but your guests are just sitting there, kind of waiting for it to for that part to be done so they can eat it. Well, let's see. So Elizabeth, I think I think we've shared a couple of courses now. We've had some of the same tea. I think I brought up the the blue cheese and chicken sandwich, and you shared that with me. And I'm I'm wondering if maybe you would want to suggest a dessert for me this time around. But he was very focused on um, wrapping it up to go. <laughs> so I definitely got that he's like, I, I, I love wrapping you up and like leaving you there. I thought that Daniel was trying to say that he likes silence during scenes. This is what it is. I'm really happy when I'm uh, enter a nonverbal subspace. Uh, I enjoyed tying you up and leaving you alone for an extended time. Um, was they enjoyed how how loud I was and how I screamed during. Yeah. I was very focused on them during the scene. I really held their entire attention. Um, so I really liked when when Florian uh, forced me to uh, make intense eye contact. With ah. I thought she was trying to say that she wanted to like messily come everywhere. <laughs> When you punish me severely, I would really like to orgasm after. Yeah. So. Okay, okay, nice, nice. So I think you don't like role play. Yeah, that's like, right. Oh! The hemp allergy, it's the, the rope is is no good because there's an allergic reaction. That Chloe enjoys uh, hearing articulated sounds, not just noise, our voices going back and forth. I don't like using a gag with you because I feel awkward when we can't talk while playing that they really want to watch, right? That they want to do like a voyeur scene. Elizabeth picked the plain scone as more simple and comforting. So I interpreted that as maybe we've been doing all this BDSM stuff, but it sounded like they wanted to move back towards some, some of the vanilla stuff. I wanted to be able to have sex in a comfortable bed. Um, I thought that Bonnie was saying that she wanted an expensive wedding ring. Um, so, I mean, you definitely want to burn me or light me on fire. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, so yeah, fire. It, yeah, fire. It's fire. It was, I have a fantasy about engaging in fire play with you, but I'm afraid it might be too extreme. Because I, I wasn't sure it was knots, question mark. I wish you would teach me how to tie some of those intricate knots. Awesome. And what did you think that Chloe was trying to say? Worry that it is tedious and or boring for me. Uh, it was sometimes I worry that you're bored while I'm tying you up. Nice. Do they want 
me to take the lead? Like, do they want me to be a little bit more dominant oh. in the relationship? I, I think I've realized I would like to try switching and maybe you could try topping me. I'm pretty sure that Elizabeth is not like fully into and fully satisfied by really kind of heavy physical kink activities. So uh, that was Pasta Sugar Please by Cleo Yangsu. David, it's so funny saying that because she's like sitting here.